G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zhubwoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we're currently still experiencing the worst nightmare we can imagine in Undead Legacy. I don't really think that's especially an understatement, to be honest. We did get murdered ruthlessly yesterday and are still licking our wounds from that. We probably shouldn't. They were zombie wounds and we're probably already pretty badly infected and well on our way to be an undead shambler before too long. We're trying to push through Hagashi Tower and at the moment, I've got old mate Vaddy Boy over there just having a little tickle in whatever stasis is in waiting to jump me when I get around there later on. Also, old mate Hoodie through there just having a little trundle. But I'm hoping when the sun comes up in about 9 minutes they'll both die so if they die from well in front of me like that if they die from the sun coming up i shouldn't have to deal with them later they shouldn't respawn so that's what i'm hoping for watching the sun gradually rise out there but i don't know maybe pushing higashi this early on in, on day 50 uh was a bad decision not really early at all but i've got my ass handed to me so far oh here we go it's about to be 4 a.m and they're both still alive. All right, well, I guess I have to do it the old fashioned way then and do it the proper way. Kill on myself and not be lazy. Quickly check the ammo pile for another couple of 762s. Cheers, big ears. XP Gog's back on though, because I have several levels to get through before I can start actually gaining XP again. The 25% reduction from dying before was a pretty big cost to me. I'm not happy about it, but kind of justified. Dying should never be an easy thing or a light uh, punishment, but. Man, it's a long way to go to get back up to where I was. It's gonna take a little while. I'm not sure if all of these vats through here all have zombies inside them, but I think it's pretty safe to assume they will. If I assume they will and they don't, then that's gonna be a nice surprise for me. But the problem is that I can't snipe zombies if they're behind glass. I'll try and shoot them and all glass is bulletproof at least once, so it'll just catch the bolts. And whoever's in there- My ooh. senses have picked up something. Fuck, 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 quick. I was gonna say it was a clean headshot. You probably should have died. Uh, I'm wearing the rock goggles for it. I can hear moaning and groaning. I think it was them up downstairs. And now I've gone up that elevator shaft. I think I'm kind of okay. I don't think they can reach me. Yeah, I can hear the pitter patter. That's fine. That's fine. I don't really give a shit about those ones. They're gonna break the building all they want all the way down there. I'm just gonna go like that and do absolutely nothing apparently. Fire again. Oh, I went the early shot expecting him to duck out and catch it in the chin, but didn't quite work out that way. Deeds, I need to move, love. You're kind of right in the way there, DD. Oh, I can hear so many noises. So many noises. You're just a regular Arlene. So, oh, oh, almost got me. I need that. Fuck. I need that one hit kill that the club would have given me. Come on through. Headshot that one. Headshot that one. Yeah, they can all just come to that doorway. That's all good and gravy. There's the hoodie before from before. There, look at that. I knew Arlen would be about at tit height right behind him. So I punched the hole square through his chest and obliterated Arles. That's almost worth a teabag, you know? Almost worth a bleeding teabag. What? What? Where? Where? Holy shit. Okay, um... Things are about to go from bad to worse, I feel. There's a demo out there somewhere. And I don't especially know where, nor what to do about it when he gets here. He's in the building. And I assume he's going to be in the stairwell somewhere, or just beating through a wall so to try and get up to me. Either way, not a good time to be me. Open you with a shotgun, because I can't be bother beating you down with an axe anymore. Where are you going to be? Where are you going to be? How are zombies going to make their way up to me at this level? They can't go through the elevator shaft. I know that. I need to know. I should have done research before I came here, but I have no fucking idea what's going to be happening to me. Haven't got the foggiest. It sounds like they're directly below me. About here. So I don't remember what's actually down there. I'm trying to remember the layout of the floor below me, but I'm not having a great deal of luck with it. But I think I might be okay just at the moment. Just going to continue carrying on through. There's a broken window over that side in the weapons bag. Thanks, Deeds. Thanks for the heads up. A little bit too late, but I appreciate it all the same. I'm just going to chuck in some blocks along like this so I don't fall to my death and into the waiting arms of a demo down below. That's not quite all the way along. I'm going to take any chances. No parkour today. I cannot be trusted. All right, straight in like that. And you know what? Actually, I've got not that many eye candy. I was going to pop on for this, but no, I think it's fine. Uh... 
Regular goggles on. Is that a door that leads to... Ooh, Scrap Sledgy TSC, but no, it's fine. Is that a door that leads down to a stairwell? I should check that. I should check that immediately. It's got the exit sign above it, so logic would dictate it's probably where they're going to be coming through. Up we go. Take all of you back again. And can I go and pick this one real fast? It is a stairwell, but the stairs should be broken. <laughs> yep. G'day, everyone. Yep, there's the demo. Oi, dickhead, come in here and I'll tickle your nipples for you. I think in that case, I just need to get through here and get out of here as quickly as I can and not waste any more time. The further up I go, the safer I'm going to be. That's another white in there. That's all fine. Yeah, yeah, I can hear the demo. Look, if I get trapped on this floor with a demo, I'm dead anyway. So my best option is just to push. I don't know what just broke that glass behind me. We're going to stop to find out. Famous is out the fugly. Famous is really good for a lot of things. May look ugly, but it does a real good job of killing. Uh, oh, God. What the fuck? Where the hell have all you come from? No, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. You're all fucking dead now. Thank God I found you on the fucking balustrades and not inside the building somewhere. Uh, yeah. All right. Things are getting pretty gnarly in here. I'm not excited by it. This is like the worst version of Ascension I've ever played. I'm getting chased up a tower by a horde of zombies with a demolisher in it. It's like, it's taken this whole thing to a whole new level. But of course, I can't not loot things on my way through. Never know when you might find something that might help me on the whole not dying thing. Uh, you want me to go this way? Okay, through along the boards outside. Don't slow down in case it breaks underneath you. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so freaking sketchy. Can I... I might actually just do that. It'll piss off a couple of them, but it might just clear out some of the zombies nearby. Every time I shoot the famous, it calls in more. Probably some screamers and stuff as well. Low famous are helpful for this, but up oh, over. Oh, God, God. Jumping at 20 FPS is the worst thing ever. All right. G'day, you. Kill your way you get spawned. That's all fine. Anything I can grab around here doesn't really seem like it. The further I go, the more I hear glass breaking. At some point, surely they're going to be on this level. I made it back to the stairwell. I've already picked that door, so that's always good to know. Drop down to here. Oh, I almost got you. Well, I don't want to be any... No, don't go lower, John. If you go lower, it'll change their path. It might break through a wall or something to actually get to you. Keep on pushing up north. I can't go any further than this, but... I mean, it's a little bit further off the ground, and every step I take further up in the sky, the less there is a chance that zombies down on the ground will know where I am. Can't go that way. That's all good. There's probably some puppets hanging out in the bathroom over here, though. I'm just I'm just famishing my way through. No more second guessing, no more changing guns. I've got almost a thousand rounds of ammo for it. It's my best gun and my best chance of surviving. You can even hear just on like a noise level. Like now that I'm further away, I was gonna say some of these vats there should be. Now I'm further away, the sound of the demos and stuff are just so much lower than they were a second ago. The further away I am, the safer I feel. I might even just like, you know, try and be a little bit smart. That'll hold them. There's no way they're getting through that. We should be all nice and fine now. Come on, famous. Stay with me. 18 more rounds. My frame rate's kind of gone a dog shit, though, because there's lots of zombies down below. Keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. What have you got for me? Ooh. I've got a bad feeling about this. Cheers, knackers. Tier B booty boys. The old hoof covers. What have we got? I'm currently rolling tier C, so you're obviously going to be better. I'll change you over. Take all you out of there. Yes, this is absolutely the appropriate time for a wardrobe change. I'm still trying to push just as fast as I can. Look at the frame right now. It's definitely someone in here. G'day. That's fine. If you're going to open the door, I'll open the door for you. Check your toolbox for a repair kit. Thank you. And a tier B wrench. Don't find wrenches often, so it was a good day when you stumble across one. Who else is around? Yep. Just put another one in there. I'm just shooting open uh, so open doors and shooting open zombies one after the other. The famous is an opener, and that is for damn sure. One in there, too. No more that aiming down the sides, because it's bloody ugly. It feels weird to put that to your shoulder, but it's fine. Thanks, Deeds. I know that already, but I love your work. Just rinsing. Just fucking rinsing. Oh, good day, buddy boy. Open the door. I can actually go with my regular melee stuff to kill you because it's just one on one. A rare change of pace. We can actually relax and play properly for a change. Not just go all ball to gate. Anyone in you? No, just some garbage. That's fine. Or the garbage kind, not the zombie garbage kind. Deeds is already <laughs> scoping it out for me. Love your work, Deeds. Yep, they're still coming. Keep on going, Josh. Don't dawdle. Keep on pushing up. Ooh, a cheeky Ergo Grip mod in a bag down here, which could go... You don't have one on you, but you do have a... 
four to five grip. I'm gonna change it over. Ergo grips are really bloody valuable because they give me what? 10% decrease on my stamina usage from swinging things around. So I can swing it more and harder and floppier. Keep on going. Grab my ball back. Thank you. Almost to the next level again. Anything fun? Not really. Anything else fun? Really not really. Okay, that's good. Up to another level. And before I go, actually, because this should be the only way for zombies to make it up to that level. So if I break this ladder, if the zombies and the demos and all sorts of things down there do manage to make it in, up. Oh, uh, they won't be able to get to me up on the next floor. Can I just make this a bit easier for myself then? The rubble on the ground's making it a bit harder. You piss off. You go there. Up we go. Take that back. There we go. Another zombie proof entry. Now that I'm a little bit further up and I can't hear the groans of the demo down there anymore, I can start actually playing the game properly as it was meant to be by stealthing through and trying to like stealthily kill Muppets and not be terrified for my life every single time I do. Is that a rat? No, I don't think it is. So just like wait for him to lean back a little bit. And whip the shotgun out of the scope, please. Famous. Mm, I don't think I need the famous for this, actually. Missed you. One on you. Get the second one. It's a power attack and a regular attack. Kills a zombie. So there we go. All the way through. Nice. Okay. This, <laughs> the katana is actually pretty okay. I miss one shot kills, but it is what it is, I suppose. And we're looking here. So we're looting gogs on. Check for more ammo. More 762s. I'm finding 762s left, right, and center. Not a lot of 556s, uh, uh, five, five, though. I'm still trying to go relative. Oh, shit. Relatively quickly. But I just realized it's only 9 a.m. All of the terrifying shit that's happened this morning has happened before breakfast. Which I'm not sure if it's a good or bad thing, but at least we're still here to tell, uh, tell the tale about it. That should be glass, I think. So, yep. Yeah, what was glass? Woke someone up. Just a rat. Okay, that's fine. Wait for it. Slice. Dice. And then teabag. Just making ourselves a nice little brunch out here. We'll get the second one going. Try and pop a nog like... Oh, like that. That was a good bloody pill. How are you not dead? You're dead. We should have died from that. Where did I hit you? Where did I hit you? Oh, okay. We're going to bring the doctors in. Holy shit. The doctors in for a second opinion. Um... Right, that is Nance, I need you to, not Nance, sorry, fucking Dini, I need you to move. UMP time, definitely UMP time. That's where you gotta keep all your guns loaded all the time. The fucking sea of flights, are you shitting me? Holy shit, that's a lot of bad news. But the fugly famous and the UMP, oh, it's better than you'll ever be. I think this is another door down to the stairwell, which I'll quickly just pop you open and have a little squeeze. Yeah, it's all looking pretty okay in there. Just making sure I open up all the doors to the stairs when I can. Means that when like, things like that happened, I wasn't prepared and didn't have everything loaded, which for once in my life I did. If I had to bail, bailing down a stairwell to the next level just gives me a chance to kind of uh, rest and recuperate and like, kind of gather myself again. And then I can like, fall and go goopy and it gives me a chance to reload and prepare. Ooh, hey Piggly Winks. Catch you later Piggly Winks. Got any other friendos around here somewhere? Another Piggly Winks. Not gonna take any chances. Pigs are bad. They killed a Barathe. Almost just having a little kip through the window here. Can I slide a bolt through that? Or is this gonna be one of those bulletproof things that I can't do it for? There's, oh, it's a rad zombie in the middle. I was wondering what like, the green button on Old Man Soldier Boy's chest over there was. I think it was like a, like a mini demo. My have up yeah, no, I can. Okay, that's fine. Didn't get the secondary shop. Oh, i still asleep. Excuse me, knackers. There you go. Just, oh, shit. Oh, you got here very quickly. I thought I'd have a little bit more time. Turns out I definitely did not. But he's dead, though. And here comes all the rest of them. That's fine. I'll go with the UMP. So let's have an ammo and switch to the fuzzly Famous if I need to. Headshots all across the board. Lovely. I can't do any more tippy tappies, so I think that's fine. I'll take my bolt back out of you, though. Man, fully auto machine guns, spitting hot rounds. Apparently, it's the only way to get through the apocalypse. Um. That was a collapse. Something just collapsed over here. What have the zombies done? Like, I've left a big sea of zombies down below. I, I definitely heard a collapse. And I'm... I don't know where... If they've collapsed on, like, maybe up on the roof. I think from we actually heard Garshi has some pretty unstable buildings up the very tippy top. So I get up there and things are broken, which would be okay as long as the loot's still there. But I don't know. I don't know. If they bring down the tower with me in it, well, I guess fair play to them. But that would be, um, 
How do I, how do I say this? That would be mildly unfortunate. Oh, good, 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 good. Made it back to the elevator shaft. Is there anything down in the elevator itself? Yes, there is. Could have a little squiz at you for not a lot. A cooker pot actually, pretty valuable. I do have to go back to um my church, get all the gubs out of there. But by the looks of things, these are kind of okay at the base of here. We're almost to the tippy top. We've almost done it. And it's only 11 o'clock in the morning. Up we go. Just duck on over there. Please don't fall to your death now. That would be particularly silly of me. I can still hear them beating on shit, though. Don't know what they're doing down there, but they're not giving up. And see, his ScoMo just threw this little great here. Anytime I get an opportunity for, like, a stealth shot with a bow, I'm gonna take it, even though it's very rarely gonna actually kill anyone. You're just gonna, like, show me the way, I suppose, and bring all your friends, or just on your lonesome? You are ScoMo, so I doubt you have any friends to bring. I might just, like, get in there, then. Oh, okay. All right, out on... Oh, jeez, out onto the balcony. Oh. <laughs> That's one way to do it, I suppose. All right, Skybo's coming through the wall. Oh, there's a pigeon above me. I saw that. Yeah, I was gonna say I saw the sh I saw the shadow. Still can't quite see you though. There you go. Finally got you. Man, Skybo, you are doing. Oh god, you are doing a number on that bloody wall. Give me another fucking abrasion too. All right, hold on, Skybo's up. I'm gonna quickly like strap up my knee. I'm gonna take five minutes to heal that. Can I help you? Get you like all the way down to the bottom. So then when you open sesame. I can open your sesame if you want to stand out for me. Getting bloody jelly legs at the side of me. I must be getting better. There you go. There you go. Thank you for coming, Skymo. I'm playing a bit of zombie chicken. Waiting for the beat on the door. Like that. <laughs> it's like a jack-in-the-box or a shotgun in the box. I pop open the door, pop open it. Not going to close it again before the next one shows up. Works out pretty bloody well, if I'm being honest. Not a lot of loot in here. That's all fine. Okay, so more like the last level, though. Above me is, like, the just the rooftop where I actually want to make my living. <gasps> I just thought, though. Did they break? Did they break my helipad? I came all this way just to have a helipad. Did you fuckers break it? I bet you they did, too. They knew what was valuable to me, and they broke it in front of my eyes. Bloody zombies. They're bloody rude as shit. Oh, there's a dirt home. Hold on. There's a dirt boat. It's over this way somewhere. There it is. Ah, uh, that's a long way. Like, due south, actually. Back towards the desert. It actually looks like it is probably, like, the full, maybe not the full measure of 700, maybe, like, 500. Gauging distances is always not particularly my strong suit. But you, we're going to go this one. Number we up to. Six, I think. We're going to go six like that. And then, like, somewhere down here, 400. We're going to go straight down there. About 600. That seems about right. We'll go to that one. I'm going to go like that. I'll find that at some point. That looks about right. In fact, if I get to the roots, I might be able to see where it comes down. It's still a long way up, but with the power of magnification, like, I could probably see... Ooh, it might... I mean, if it lands in, like, that car park, I don't know exactly where it is. I tell you what, I might have been right on the nipple with this. It doesn't seem that far out. Like, if it's all, like, coming in between those trees or get kind of engaged by the smoke clue, whether it's on the other side of the trees or not. It is on the other side of that tree, which is fine. Other side of both of those trees. So, a little bit further out. You kind of saw that little smoke plume there. Okay. So, turns out having elevation is really bloody handy. I reckon about there, then. Mm, I'm, a little bit, I'm a little bit off to the... Uh, on my right, so I have to go back this way. About there. How's that look? That looks bang on the money. All right, I'm going to move this one real fast. Uh, number six is that one. You can now piss off and right on the money then. Mark you up. See, you get some elevation, you can get some eyesight going and figure out where everything's happening. I can't tell you, by the way, I can't tell you how panicked I was when I started hearing the sound of collapse. Like, I started hearing the building coming down. I thought the whole of Higashi was, was gone. I thought it was going to come down around with me inside it. And it was all... <sighs> It was all going to be over. But turns out it wasn't. Sometimes Seven Days does like to like just completely forget the physics of the thing. If it starts collapsing, it continues collapsing like forever. So that would have been a problem. Go Wait, which is number four is my Famous. Fucking don't even worry about it. I killed her in one. Exploded her nog like a wet watermelon. Come on. Keep on coming through. Just like that. Don't waste your ammo. Controlled bursts. Nice. Good. It's fucking good, lads. Can't forget to check the cheeky area out the side here. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh, all right, then. I'm going to ask how you got there. I'm just going to put you out of your misery. That was like a compassionate kill more than anything else. 
Oh, okay, this is where you were just camping out. It was a good spot, but maybe you should have got here before you got bitten and turned to whatever the hell that was. A working chem station, good to know. Cheers, knackers, but we're almost to the tippy top. Look, there it is. It's going to be a real significant fight when I get there, but I've got a little bit of time and all the ambition. We're so close to having this place done, and it only cost me one of my lives. Oh, boy, okay. This is the moment. This is where it all comes for us. Either I die here and I cry myself to sleep again, or I succeed and we make it through. What's my escape plan? I suppose I can just kind of yeet myself down the stairs and get to a, low, a lower level or through there and then continue on running. But hope doesn't really come to that. But the rooftop is going to be a battle. There's going to be rads, probably like demos and shit. I'm bracing myself for this to be especially bad. Who we got? Anyone at all that I can see early. There's all the loot which I want to get to. Ooh, which way do I go? I don't know. Yes, look, here's the collapse. I told you the roof was going to be kind of unstable. I thought that's where the collapse was, and I was right. Uh... Oh, fuck. I'm scared. It's going to go... Like, it's all quiet now. I make one wrong move, and it's going to be very loud very quickly. Can I, like... I can't quite go through there, can I? I'm going to try and get outside. Being on like this little corridor here, not good. Oh, actually, before I go then, let's get you into me. Give myself some extra stamina boosties. So I have like a... Have I found like a, a Mega Crush in here somewhere? I've got Yucca Juice. No. I don't think I found a Mega Crush along the way. I would have loved to have, but I don't think I did. Nah, okay. All right. Well, it is what it is then. Still can't get out there. The windows are still sealed shut. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Come on, come on. Pay attention, Josh. Get outside. Deal with some pigeons if you need to. Yeah, there's more of the collapse. That's okay. Just don't do anything dumb, Josh. Please. It's a weapons bag just there. I'll keep it in mind for later. I'm not going to loot anything until I've got my loot and candy. Oh, fuck. Rocking and rolling for me. Oh, I, I don't think the crossbow is quiet enough. But I don't want to use the ammo out of the Fugly Famous too early. Missed the follow-up. There we go. Yep, that's fucking shit. That's woken everybody up. That's a fence there. Get through the door. Get through the fucking door, please. Oh my god, I got stuck. I got stuck. Okay, that's fine. I managed to get out of it, though. Up and over. Okay, keep on running. How's my health looking? Not particularly too bad, so I think we're okay. Piss off those pigeons. Get them all coming out for me. Oh, fuck. Just straight through them. I thought I had a bit of a leeway there, but I did not. Up and over. Who got to me? I think those ones did. Can I keep on moving up then, please? Up, up, up. Up we go. There's vomit around the place. So someone's mad. Quick reload the Famous onto the clean side of the building. Where they're all coming from. I don't... Oh, fuck. Okay. Kill you. Make sure everyone else is dead as well. Feral bikers are bad. I fucking dodged that bomb like a goddamn champion. Keep on moving. This is why you get. I'm infected. I got a broken leg. That's okay. You can deal with that in a second. Up to the top. They should be off the top by now. And it's just a couple of flappy fucks. Are we all right? Are we all right? Yeah, I think we are. Okay. You guys need a dime. It was a waste of ammo, but it's going to be all right as long as I can get it reloaded before the next one comes up. Don't take. Oh fuck. Okay, don't take your eyes off the prize. We might have to if they come up a different way. I thought there was going to be a different point of access, but no, they're going that way instead. That's gone. Down to the UMP. You need to fucking die, though. Shit. Fuck. Balls. Doggo. Doggo. Okay. Time to move. No. No. No! The loot! He took the loot with him, you bloody sausage! God damn it! He's gone. Soldier boy, you need to go as well, please. Get out of the fucking way, DD. I heard some. I heard another copper. God damn it. A fucking... I want a radiator copper blew up next to my fucking loot. That is horrendous. There's the copper. That's okay. It's just a feral, not a rad. So quickly kill. I would have had that radiator too if I didn't have to reload my fucking thing. Uh, right. I did find somewhere in here. Where are you? Put you in nice and quickly. Is that going to fix all the things for me? I don't think it will. Mm, no, I'm still infected and still have a fucking broken leg. That was completely worthless then. Uh, you, put you in nice and fast. Quickly chuck in some steroids as well to stop making that worse. Okay, are we all right? I can still hear doggos and whatnot. 
I can't believe it. I can't believe he exploded next to the loot. That is heartbreaking. I think that might be it though. Ooh, it's a extra campfire here waiting for me. Don't mind if I do. I do have a cooking pot for you. There you go. Chuck you straight in. Happy as. Well, I think that's everyone dead now. That was a disaster. I mean, it's not really a disaster, I suppose. Like, the main loot is here, which is fine. But there were, like, other boxes, I think, so, like, passing gas boxes and stuff like that upstairs, which I now will never get to have ever again. Uh, eye candy, Chuck. You're in... I'm upset. I'm upsetty spur getting about that one. Could have exploded anywhere else, but had to cut all the valuables as you popped your noggin off. Just rude. Just bloody rude. Nothing in you, though. Yeah, definitely got the goggles on. Just making doubly sure. You... Chuck on one of those ones. Here you go. Pop your open. What have you got for me? Some tier A steely booties. Some nuggies. First aid bandos. Assorted ammo. Not so bad. Well, the most important thing here. Ooh. Another tier A police baton. I can sell you for some dots. The most important thing is I made it all the way through. Came out the other side. And now I own Hagashi. I just realized I forgot to get the boxes at the back of the loot room. I thought it was with the boxes on top. And I carried on my merry way. Too busy telling myself not to forget to grab the um the weapons bag that's out here somehow. I'm not really sure how you want me to get that. It's just a death trap off the side. Get you out of the way. Chuck you down this tank. Could I like... Can I put this anywhere? Is there a way for me to put this down? Or are you just going to, like, throw me off the edge to my death? Ooh, close. That'll do. That'll do. It's a bit, a bit iffy, but it will work. Weapons bag for absolutely nothing. All right, never mind then. I'll take that one back. That frame could be a sacrifice to the gods of the loot world. Oh, man. That was too much. That was too much. I did not enjoy any of this raid at all. But somehow, I'm still alive. So this is the elevator shaft right here. So I can actually punch through there and have like an easy access route right up the shaft. Okay. It's most exciting I've been to have a long shaft in a long time. But that could actually work out really well for me. I've got two minutes left of my loot and candy. So everything here is already empty. Can't get the one-shot kill, even with the titanium axe. What have you got for me? Some recog. That'll come in handy for the next Horde Knight. I'd love to, like, somehow incorporate a Horde Knight build into Hagashi to get all those loot bags at that higher loot level. Because right now, with the loot specs on, I loot and candy going for me. And my amulet of looting. My loot stage is almost 300, which I think is, like, maximum. Maybe, like, 220 or something is maximum. I can't remember. But either way, it is a long way up there. Speaking of a long way up there, I reckon there's something up there too. That was it. There was just a bag with some painkillers and empty water bottles in it. But this is the top of the world as far as I can see. Good place to be. Need to go back and get all my stuff out of the church over there, which might have to wait. Although it's only, what, 5 p.m.? It's not particularly that late. I just feel exhaust. Ooh. Feel exhausted from all the things I've done. Look at that. See what I mean? So zombies die overnight and some of them drop bags. And in fact, maybe... I mean, that demo... <laughs> That demo might actually still be somewhere around here, which is a little bit scary. But if he did die, maybe he dropped a red loot bag for me, which I can then take advantage of and go and loot. That'll be kind of lovely. Just going to clear out oh, all the Muppets I can from up on high, though. Make the world a slightly better place. One Galar at a time. Good shots. So I guess I kind of need to plan out how I'm going to do this. In fact, if that's like the lift that's all the way at the top, that means that like... Holy shit. Like, just through there somewhere should be the ladder to get through. It's going to take a while to get through it, but I think it's going to be worthwhile. My leg's still broken. My arm is kind of broken as well. Look, I'm a little bit fucked up. I did die, but we're going to pretend that didn't happen. Although, oh, I finally got through my, um, my XP penalty, though. So I'm back to where I was. Made up. I can't be right. Maybe it's like, what, 25%? Is it 25% of the current level, maybe? Wouldn't be 25% of your entire XP uh, supply because then I'd never get it back. It'd take like, another 30 days to do. I don't know. I don't know. But either way, I'm back at it again, punching holes through floors. Should be the last swing of the pickaxe. There we go. She's now done. Where was the ladder? Over that side. I can make this work. I can make this work. This is fine. Okay, so you... Just put in some sort of, like, platform for me to stand on. Perfect. That'll do nicely. Do the same across to them. And replace those ladders with ones I can use. I might even go... I mean, it's probably not a bad shout, actually, because something like that. Because I am an idiot, and I will fall to my death if I give myself half a chance to. That one just needs to have a ladder, like, there. Nice and easy. I can get up onto that one. Zombies can't, so they will never even try to use this route. And all I have to do now is just break down the broken ladders all the way down to the ground. That should take me 
I have a little gander over the side. Yeah, all the way down to the ground. All the way down to the ground floor. Chuck in that ladder right in that gap. I can bridge those gaps nice and easily. So I've got one more little broken rung here, but that's all okay. And then I've already broken in the ones further down below. I've got two. That's going to work out perfect, actually. I've got two more frames on me. So one for here, one for down there. And then we're golden. I'm sure the zombies have somehow beaten their way through the walls down here, so that can be my egress and access point. But, like, if I'm in a bit of a pickle, I can just charge in here, uh, jump on the ladder, and just start climbing up to the ceiling, and none the wiser. We'll be fine. No, oh, no, I was wrong. I'm going to need one more frame. One more frame to make this work out for me. Where's the least likely spot for me to fall to my death? Probably in the far corner. I'll grab you. Thank you very much. Grab my... Come on, game. Stay with me. I know we're in the wasteland. There's zombies everywhere. But if I can try and deal with it, you can try and deal with it too. Straight down like that. All the way down to this bit. And then whack you in there. And we have a ladder access. That's fine. That's all gravy knackers. Because look, they're going to get through there in a long bloody time. Can I beat my way through the side through here then maybe? Is that going to be better? Kind of. Ooh, potentially. All right. Through the bookshelves. Love it. I think it's probably going to be prudent of me to break down these, like, the bottom two rungs of that ladder. Just kind of how we normally do, just to really save myself any sort of dramas with any sort of zombie pathing. I want to do the rigmarole through the stairwell that's broken, not taking, or well, half of the shortcut, really. Like, like, I don't think I can get through that, but I don't want to even try. I want to hedge all my bets and make sure everything is nice. Fucking get out of the way, DD. Jesus. I'm going to break things here, and you're just getting your bloody propellers all caught up in your pickaxe. But yeah, if I can just remove that kind of possibility, I'll feel so much safer at night. And there you go. So through there, up onto that, which I should be able to make the jump. Yes, I can. Nice and happily. All right, dudes. Let's go and get the car and get all of our guns from the other place. Ooh, there's a couple of zombies coming through the wall. That's fine. There's still some loot out there for me as well. I've got my loot and gogs on. Yes, I do. The loot and candy is well gone, though. I'm a thirsty boy. Chuck that in. All right. Well, hopefully. Oh, I wonder where that demo died. It's probably a good idea to go through the building and see if there's any little loot bags waiting out there for me. There's a copper over that way, so let's go this way. I'm gonna piss off a whole bunch of them, but it's gonna be fine. I want those juicy, shiny things. Excuse me, Nance. G'day. Oh, you're a feral one, but that's all right. Just give you a bit of a chop so I can get my speedy boosts going. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought I heard something, but I saw something oh, that looks like kind of fun... That's the wrong thing. Inside that loot bag, I was going to go something loud, but we're going to keep the suppressed shotgun at hand. So we'll be a little bit better off for most of these things. It's still pretty loud and still gets a bit of a crowd going, but that's all right. It's just you. You're just a feral. Hit you once. And again. And again. Gotta need this sword to be better. So what do I actually get out of that? I got a tier B iron fire axe. Not particularly crash hot, but that's fine. Don't need you. Throw that away. I'm a little bit peckish, so I might just eat a can of fish. Uh, tier A steel booties I never swapped over. A little bit silly of me. That's right. I'll do it now. Modify you. Take all the mods out of that one. So I started... I came in with tier C booties. I've gone all the way up to eight. Nothing to sniffle at. That's for damn sure. Change it back over again. Get the A boys. Cover me toesies and me hoofs in the best leather you can. Nice. You were definitely better than the other ones, weren't you? 13.9 compared to 14.2. So definitely the better option. All right. Ooh. Well, the sun is going down. I just don't want to deal with you at all. Fuck, I love the M14 so bloody much. But I do want to kill a couple of Muppets around here with my sword to try and get my leveled up a little bit. Mm, might be a bit of an ask, though. Anything in you. Search what I can. Couple of bookies. Yeah, I, I need some murder to progress, but I'm always scared to do it. Well, no this hanging about then because it is getting kind of late at night. I'll grab you and jump in my 240 and just quickly head back over to the church and grab what I can. There's some storage over there. There's like the campfire and stuff. Well, I have a new campfire up on the top of my Higashi, but always want to get some extras if I can. Just take what I can and leave what I don't need. Make it nice and efficient and quick. Feels like only yesterday I was moving into this joint. Bong! Always got to do it on the way through. All right, so you are... Uh, you have some stuff in you, but that's fine. I'll take you. You're definitely the most valuable thing up here. I'll also take my lantern, though I have some extras over at Hagash. Do you like that? None of this stuff can come with me. You definitely can, though. I don't... I thought I had a grill in there, but I don't, but that's fine. I'll take you with... Do I need any of this other shit, though? Like, my big iron storage is kind of for everything... And to be real, most of the stuff I want to take with me back to, like, my actual house back in the desert. 
Look at that. Look at that. what an upgrade it is. But I am going to take all of my frames with me because they are actually obscenely valuable in the grand scheme of things. Down we go. Grab these ones on the way through as well. Did I leave anything behind? That one did. Soon. All of these are going to come with me as well. It's going to be good. Look at me restocking. Nice. Taking all of those. I will take my hay bales as well. I don't think I can jump off Hagashi. I think it's too tall for me just to yeet myself off the side and be okay. I might put some down somewhere just in case. If I have to like bail out in an emergency, if it's death or snapped ankles, I can deal with snapped ankles much better than... Oh, fuck. Much better than death. Jump in you. Nice and quick. DD's got the rest of the govern, so we should be fine. Oh, that was a very wide berth. Got real wide out into the bonus zone so I can play Need for Speed in a freaking drift event. Yes, lovely. Okay, let's go pull up out the front. I don't know where I'm going to park up. My car, Hagashi, doesn't have a garage, which is... Get off me, hood, you numbskull! Which is a bit upsetting, but I need to find somewhere to chuck her down. Somewhere's got to be protected from all of the nightmares of the world. I guess I'm just being silly. I guess I'll just leave the car out the front. Like, it's not like I'm going to be blocking traffic or anything, am I? Not really any traffic to block. That's why she's getting so desperate for some business. I also did get punched in the face by a couple of birds, so... Where did my... That one go? Grab you, change over for that one too while I'm at it, and lock you in place there. Ooh. Ooh. That was a doggo, and not like a dead doggo, but a doggo made of like edible meat. I don't think I'm in a position to turn that down. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, puppy doggy? I think you're up here somewhere. There you are. Can I? Oi, you can. There you go. I need you to die so I can cook you up for me later. I always on the hunt for snacks. Oh my god. Armor piercing a uh, AP 762s? Yes. Absolutely. That might actually apply to 556s as well, because I don't think there's a specialized book for 556 stuff. I think I feel like I camping up behind the bloody use of the stands. That's all fine. Interesting. I'll have to check the recipe for that when I get upstairs again, because it's getting real late and I need to get up there nice and quick. That one's the only one left. Nothing in there. It's ticked over to nighttime right now. That's fine. Slice. One fell swoop, harvest up an entire dog. All right, let's go all the, get all the gubbins I can and get upstairs where it's going to be nice and safe. At least that's the bloody hope. Got everything out of the car. DD's all loaded up. I'm not too cucumbered, so I think we're all good and gravy to charge straight on through. And I want to, like, punch out one of these walls here or something, I think. To, oh, look at your gate to try, like, get into the elevator shaft a bit easier. Um, rather having to go the long way around all the way through here but it is what it is i suppose in we go and up we go my frame rate's gone to ask because all the monsters in the world have spawned when i get up to the tippy top that's no longer a concern you know what though i could in a very similar vein i'm gonna get up and out of here though real quick before i get too distracted in a very similar vein to the base that i had in the first base in the eye candy base just like a one access ladder route up to the top. Shotgun at the top. Bam, bam, bam. They all die. They go goopy, fall down the bottom again. And they can't really break Higashi. So maybe that's not a bad idea. If I need a horde base in Higashi, that's probably a pretty good way to do it. But look at this though. Look at my kingdom I can now control. Call me fucking Simba. Although I'm in the shadowy place, so maybe not. Maybe I'm a star instead. Well, here we are. Home sweet home. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to chuck all my shit down. Like, I can't really live on this top floor here, but all the loot is in there. But I already have my own storage. So maybe, actually, where it was? Here it is. Here it is. Here's my campfire. You can have that. In you go. I've got a bit of meat and stuff on me as well, but no eggs. I do need to go through and got to sort everything out. Where was my storage box? In somewhere. Ah, uh, there you are. I was going to say, I definitely picked it up. I was getting real confused there for a tickle. Let's change over you, like that. Lock you in a place. And just chuck this down, like there. Doesn't really matter right now. It's all fine. Put everything I can into you. Successful. What a successful trip. We may have died and we may have got fucked up a lot of the time, but... Look at where we have to live now. And we got ourselves a helipad. And grab all the shit out of D. It's all the ammo and shit as well I have that's spare. That's on top of like my regular stuff. I've got a, a thousand rounds almost. A thousand rounds of 556 and a full... Another full thousand rounds of 762. Oh no, only like 600. I'm overestimating and over-exaggerating again. But now that I've got that, I'm going to quickly go through. Unlock that one. And uh, just clear out the helipad up here. And then I want to go... What I should have done a little while ago, actually. I want to go and just investigate and see if that demo did drop anything in the uh, in the shaft down below. 
Like a demo drop. Oh, this is gonna be like ammo and stuff. I was gonna say it's gonna be worthwhile popping a looting candy for, but I don't think it actually is. I've almost filled up my storage as well. Got a lot of gas and stuff on me as well. I'll chuck that into the 240 at some point. But come with me, DD. Let's go find the um the stairwell and just see what happened down there. It's probably gonna take me all the way down. Yeah, here we go. Onto like the bottom floor. Ooh. Is this yeah, this is the floor that they were on. Ah, no loot bags. No loot bags, though. Jeez, remember that time I almost died? Yeah, yeah, I do. It's going to live long in my nightmares. So that was... Oh, I'm trying to break through there. So that's why I wanted to push up as high as possible, as quickly as possible. They made it to there. They can get up several more levels, actually. Uh, can I go real quick? Rather than going back to the elevator shaft, I just want to have a little squeeze at this and see how it's going to pan out. That's the wrong block, though, Josh. Get the ramp block instead. Chuck you like that. There we go. Up and then up. Oh, it was very close. So if they had got up to here, they could have pushed to four and then to five. Yeah, to up to level five. That would have been a really bad time if they made it up to here. That would not have worked out well for me. Now that I have Hagashi, and this is where I'm going to live for a little while, I think. In fact, my little... I could even continue that ladder right up into my base up here. Put a roof on it, keep the rain out, so then put out my own fire. So now that I have Hagashi, this is where I'm going to live for a while. I think I want to bring out some of my, con uh, my crafting tables, or at least, like, build new ones. But upgrading was so expensive, though. That's the problem. Like, the maintenance stations do repairs and stuff. Like, I need the steel on things already, which is a bit of a problem. But imagine having, like, a whole other base. Like, mine titanium and refined titanium out here to take it back with me without a problem. Just, like, a little, like, kind of forward operating base to operate from without much of a hindrance. I still really want to build, though, in that cliff there. It's asking for it. It's begging for it. Like, it's on its body knees with its tongue out, crossing its eyes in a weird way that I don't really understand why that's attractive. But... That's what it wants to have. It wants to have me inside it. And I want to I want to do that. I'm feeling a bit nefarious. So I'm just going to quickly punch a hole through these railings. Things. I'm using the helipad. At some point, helicopters were expensive. But I'd like to have one at some point down the track not too far. In fact, is that going to be the whole... Ooh, it is going to be the whole railing. But that's okay. That's fine. Uh, if I want to use the helipad, I need an easy access route from my new sky base onto my helipad. So punch out a couple of railings. Put in a couple of ladders so I can get up nice and easily, nice and quickly. Just make life a little bit simpler. I'm lazy as shit. Gonna lean into it. You know what? Let's get fancy with it. Not even gonna use the ladders. I'm gonna put ramps in like that. So I come up the ladders here, from down there, up through the rafters, up onto here, and up onto the helipad nice and happily. Still annoyed that it collapsed, but it is what it is, I suppose. So what's the plan for tomorrow? I've got a lot of his treasure map to do out this goal. Oh. Out that way. Is that the fucking car park? Hold your bloody horses. Are you serious? Oh, fucking all right then. So that's going to be my first port of call pretty clearly. It's the bloody next door. I'll go down there, dig up a lot of his treasure map and see what's what. But I think I also want to go dig up Taylor's and dig up Stevens and go back to the as well because it's going to be what? It is Trader Restock there. So if I do all of that, I can go and see Trader Rex. See what he's got, potentially buy the Forget and Elixir, and actually respec into Blades. Because as much as I love the clubs in the knockdown, I want to use knives. It's my only chance to use swords, because they're not in the vanilla game. So Under Legacy is the only chance to do that. So if I respec into you, make you even better again, get rid of some of the more worthless perks I got. It's a shame, though, because, like, look, SMGs, really good. Shotguns, really good. Machine gun is really good. I still want to be like across the board. Really all I want to do is respect Pummel Pete. But I'll have to try and do all that, get the treasures and go see Trader Rex and not die in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.